Today, we're getting a refresher on my favorite Town Hall 11 attack, 5 ICG. Welcome back for another episode. We're on the Town Hall 11 today, and we're going to be taking a look at the 5 ICG attack. This attack utilizes 5 Ice Golems, 5 ICG, uh, and then some witches, some bowlers, and then bat spells to go through and just crush Town Hall 11. This attack is gonna work against most Town Hall 11s, but especially any Town Hall 11 that has single target infernos, this attack is like an auto three star. Now we're gonna show this off, but real quick, we need to dump some elixir, and I think we're just gonna stop in our laboratory to do that. We're gonna upgrade electro dragons so we can do a guide on the electro dragon attack here in a future episode. All right, guys, let's go in on this base right here. We got single target infernos, and what you would identify is for your entry where you can get the most splash down i also like to go in at the eagle if possible going in this way we'll also be able to get towards these wizard towers there's a wizard tower here so getting those wizard towers is nice then we'll leave a couple wizard towers and bows at the top but if we do our bats properly we should be fine so what i like to do is i like to use the baby dragon on one side to kind of start the funnel and then you can kind of follow that up with a couple ice golems and a couple witches a couple bowlers on the opposite side then throw in the rest of your ice golems you can throw in the rest of the witches and the bowlers like so throw in that log launcher now sometimes what you can do is you can bring a super wall breaker to help out with the entry into the first wall that's not always necessary and in my default army i just don't have that in there so we're just going to use it as is for now now what we're going to do is we're just going to push up through the middle and with the support of all the bowlers and the witches and everything the queen should be able to make some nice little progress in here i'm going to go ahead and pop my king ability and then hit the warden ability to protect our log launcher as well nothing came out of the clan castle because we're just farming out here but if something comes out of the clan castle obviously you're going to drop in the poison here in the clan castle i got a couple valkyries along with a yeti use the rage to you know power them up and get them through now we want to identify where we're going in with the bats since we got a lot of troops up here to support i'm going to go ahead and put the bats pretty much over top of the queen here and then freeze any wizard towers any multis anything that's going to splash and take your bats out in the process i'm going to actually freeze this wizard tower back here just so this witch can possibly get it down nice and there we go from there guys the bats will clean up the rest of the base and you should be rewarded with a three star this pretty much crushes all single target inferno bases uh it's really just about getting as much of that splash down with that initial initial entry and then kind of following up with the bat spells like so kind of supporting those heroes if possible now this base right here does have the double multis but also look how much splash is kind of stacked on this one side here like we got four of the wizard towers here so even if we don't get to all of the multis with our heroes like we really don't have a lot of splash on the back side so i think this is going to be a nice little option here i also made a change to the army showing you this version i like to use i like to use this pekka for the funnel with a wizard it leaves you with like no cleanup but it's a lot more solid on the funnel and this is generally the version i like to use when i'm using this attack in war don't get me wrong the baby dragon and stuff is really nice but i really like that pekka just to have that strong funnel that strong kind of anchor point on the opposite side of where we're going in with the bowlers and the witches and everything uh so just another option you know keep your keep your mind open for this let's go ahead and let's let everything work through here queen's gonna go ahead and follow in let's uh log launcher is gonna go ahead and get some damage onto the eagle which is great just watching king watching everything just work through here let's go ahead and let's pop king ability and then i'm gonna go ahead and hit warden ability here and go ahead and rage up these valkyries and the yeti and also everything else that'll go inside this queen should get to this multi right here nice we get that wizard tower down over there and now what we can do is we can start right on top of this multi-target inferno so we can go ahead and we can drop all the bat spells on that on that multi and then freeze it and then since we got all of those wizard towers out initially we're pretty good from here guys we can just kind of freeze this bow just to protect some of our troops but with there being no splash damage up we're going to be good we would have poisoned any clan castle troops if this was a war attack which if you guys do want to see this in war maybe uh come back friday for 5v5 friday although i think i'm going to do a random spinner on 5v5 friday so maybe you'll see this maybe not we'll, we'll see we'll see i got my lower accounts in for a 5v5 but see this is what i was talking about that downside of using this version you have if all your like bowlers and witches and stuff go down you have like no cleanup all the cleanup is in the bats and i have been known to time fail with this version of the attack but i think it just sets that really solid anchor point and really sets that strong funnel on one of the sides using that pekka and the wizard 
but we get the three star here that's what we're looking for all right guys let's go in on this one we got two multis here the splash is kind of spread out and uh it could be a little bit risky this way but i i like the risk i like the risk i think we're gonna come in this side here so we can get to that eagle get to some of these wizard towers nice and quick uh, and I think we should be pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with my P.E.K.K.A. down here with the wizard. And then again, start those ice golems kind of in like so. Get the witches in. I'm going to get that log launcher going nice and early so I can go ahead and get a nice little push through here. And then let's just cut off the pathing, send in our heroes, and then push everything right up the middle of the base. We do have the enemy king kind of just in our way right here. But with the ice golem popping, he's not a problem. And that's the nice thing with this attack is those ice golems, we have five of them. They're just going to constantly be popping. Even if you bring another one in the CC, it's going to be real nice. But let's go ahead and let's uh, work through here. I think I'm going to go ahead and rage here. I'm going to go ahead and hit king ability, and I'm going to hit warden ability to protect all of our troops through these multis and stuff. Also get our king to the enemy queen. Again, if anything came out with CC, we would have poisoned it. Uh, our queen should hopefully go over and get that multi-target inferno. So I'm going to go ahead and start my bats from this top side here. And then really... Oh, that wizard tower is distracted, and it's going to go down. Nice. Really, we're good here, guys. I don't even think we need to use any freezes on this one. Yeah, that's that's solid. So even with multis, if they're in the the core like that, excuse me, uh, it's really simple. I'm going to try to find one with, like, offset multis to kind of show that off, uh, because that is one of the tougher things. Some of the war bases uh, can be really tricky to use this with if the multis are in weird positions, but... It's all about just getting as much of that splash down on your entry and then just kind of building from there. But let's go back home also real quick and spend a little bit of this gold. We will spend some elixir and dark elixir towards the end of the episode to upgrade our king and our warden because our queen is maxed out on this account. I want to go ahead and I want to upgrade this expo right here. It's a, a level behind all of our other expos. So let's go ahead and let's get that one up right there. And then we can dump the rest of the gold probably just into walls. I guess actually we can't because we don't have enough. But I guess we can upgrade like these few stray walls we have here uh to try to kind of complete these rows so let's uh let's keep going let me try to find one with offset multis all right guys so this one isn't maxed or anything but it's a nice little offset double multi here and these can be really tricky with this tech this actually kind of looks like about the same progress as we are but i feel like we'll be fine so what i like to do on these is i like to use that pekka down here uh where, we're, where we get a lot of that splash, that multis down here, we got those double wizard towers, use that P.E.K.K.A. to set the funnel down here, and then we're going to go ahead and use our ice golems to kind of follow up through here, use our witches, and we use that P.E.K.K.A. down there, oops, use that P.E.K.K.A. down there because it's just going to be able to soak up a lot of that. Now with your uh, log launcher, you want to throw that in so that you're going to have a nice little opening into that multi-target uh, compartment. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's let everything work through here. This is also an attack where, like, if you had a, a super wall breaker, that would be really nice. Obviously, we don't have a super wall breaker, but I think we'll still be okay. I'm going to hit king ability. I'm going to go ahead and hit warden ability also to protect. Queen will go in here. She'll get this multi down, and then we'll go ahead and work through here. Ooh, we even have clan castle troops on this one. Uh, it's nothing dangerous or anything, but we, we still have clan castle troops to deal with, which uh, ice bombs can be annoying on ground attacks. Tornado goes off here. That's another thing to look for on this attack is where that tornado is, if it's gone off, all that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and let's start our bats in from this bottom side because there's no splash down here, so we can kind of just let the bats chill, but also like let our queen and stuff work in through to this other multi, which we're going to go ahead and we're going to freeze this multi as we start working up here. We'll hit that queen ability, and then we'll freeze these other wizard towers, and that's one way you can deal with this. Now, there are uh, some offset multis that are a lot harder, some of the war bases can get a lot more tricky, but try to divide it in two and protect those heroes. I think that's the main point is protect those heroes so they can push through. If it's going to be a max town hall uh, 11, you might have a little bit of a tougher time, but I just wanted to kind of demonstrate this. Yes, there are definitely harder bases and this does struggle on some of those harder bases, but you can also use like the Yeti Super Wiz version. Uh, which I think works just as well. So let's go back home now and let's uh, let's upgrade our Warden for 5.3, five days, and then let's upgrade our Barbarian King as well. Let's try one without the King and Warden. I don't think it's gonna go well, but let's give it a shot. Let's give this one a go, guys. It's got double singles in the middle. We can get to a lot of the splash pretty quickly. Also, Wizard Tower is upgrading, so I kind of like it. Uh, let's go ahead, let's start with our P.E.K.K.A. up here. Again, P.E.K.K.A. into like that little splash area. Let's go ahead and get our Ice Golems in and then 
uh, get our funnel established in here. And the biggest issue is going to be we're just not going to have as much uh, beef in here to kind of tank for some of the stuff as we work through the middle of the base. And I think if we get a strong entry, I think it should be okay. All right, so let's go ahead and let's let everything work through here. I think we're going to go with an early rage right in here just to try to get these guys right on through some of the splash, get on through like the eagle really quickly. I think that'll be really beneficial. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, we got to get through that wizard tower up top. If we don't, though, not the end of the world here. All right, we'll have those troops coming in. Nice. Wiz uh, the wizard tower went down. We got the tornado going off in the middle. We got through a lot of these bows really quickly here. We got the yetis coming out. Let's go ahead and let's pop queen ability now to get that down. Let's just poison all these skeletons. There's a lot of skeletons. All right. Also, we have the Valkyrie in there. Uh, let's go ahead and let's run our bats from this top side. And we'll finish right in over here. That ice golem should pop and help us out. Honestly, though, I think I think we're going to be fine here. Uh, let's freeze this just to our queen. See if we can keep her up a little bit here. Uh, yeah. Fine, she's living. All right, queen's going to go ahead and get tanked for by the bats. We got the Yeti down here tanking. Nice, guys, nice. Look at that. The Yeti takes out the last wizard tower, and we're good. Queen stays up. But again, this is another one of those issues where we have no cleanup. We do have, like, one witch, or is it just skeletons? Did the witch go down? I thought we had a witch up. This is, see, this is this is where things can get really tricky in here. So let's see if we can get the final cleanup here. I think we got it. I think we got it. Yeah, minute 23. Another thing is this attack is pretty quick. So if it does come down to that case where you have to clean up with your bats, it's usually okay. Uh, as long as there's not too, too many storages, we're, we're good. So there we go, guys. Five ICG, one of my all-time favorite attacks in general in Clash Clans, but definitely at Town Hall 11. Even Town Hall 12, this is my go-to strategy for three stars and war. So there you have it, the five ICG attack. A little bit of a refresher on this one. I'll link the army down there in the description so you guys can check this one out for yourself. Let me know what you think of it. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.